I'm sturdy like a milli rocket. Skin clear, still look young, and these milli knockers money in my pocket. Don't call me a money pocket engine. Get Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a list of additions on the Mustang. Really mostly just keeping up with the modifications that I've done, preparing us for the winter. Mostly just preparing us for the winter, just some basic stuff I want to do. I got to repaint this, I or I want to paint up the side markers. I want to paint all of this satin black. It is black, but it's like this grayish black, as you can tell the difference. I want a satin black, so I'm probably going to paint those. I got to adjust the headlights a little bit. Right down there, I need to rewrap on the interior a little bit, but besides that, just some other little touch-ups. Also, our steering wheel isn't currently working. The light, the wire which I ran from over here got unplugged. So in the meantime, we're gonna have to rewire that. Unfortunately, I just didn't wire it up and my friend kicked it down. So as far as what we gotta do now is we're gonna do that. We also, today, we have a back deck lid that we're gonna stall back here, but that's gonna be for a different video. So that's gonna be its own separate video. The maintenance stuff we do today is gonna be on its own video too. So let's get into it. To get to redoing this wrap down here and then also painting the side marker as well as maybe painting the right here and right here, the upper and lower grill and this bottom splitter. To be able to paint that properly, I'm gonna have to take off this entire front end and also so we can adjust the headlights. You have to unfortunately take them all the way out. You can't quite access them from the very top. You have to get them out a little bit. So I'm gonna do all that. And then once our bumper's off, as you guys see, we can actually start getting to all the nitty gritty. Also another thing I wanna get done today I'm really fed up with trying to edit out how white this radiator is. So I'm going to use some black uh, approved heat and then spray paint this all black the entire radiator through. So we have a lot to do when taking off this front bumper. Let's get into it. Okay, something I've been meaning to do for a while is paint this radiator black. What we're gonna do today is just freehand paint the radiator black. I'm not gonna cover up any of this components up here. It's all rusted. Honestly, don't care if a little bit of paint gets on. I'm just gonna try to be careful. Same with these little plastic side borders. I don't really care. What I do care about is I do have a temperature sensor tucked back in the inside of this, and also just the crash bar. I figured we might as well get, might as well try to protect as much back spray as we can. So I'm gonna try to paint from the top and then work our way to the bottom up as much as we can. See what we can get done and how it looks. I'm not too worried about this. I mean, yeah, it's black on black, so. And if this black look wasn't good enough to convince you that you should also spray paint your radiator black, not just spray paint high temp radiator paint, the reason why you should paint it black is also it keeps better temps if it's black. NASCARs have done stud NASCAR teams have done studies and proven that black paint is more efficient. So there's a lot of reasons why I'm doing this. Also, it's gonna look so clean because it, through actually my car, you can actually see through onto the fins. And this shiny silver has always been super annoying in all my photos whenever I edit. It's the only super shiny silver part in my entire car. So yeah, I'm so happy that I can finally get this done. Also online, I've read a couple different things. Some people say you should do three coats. I'm only gonna do two, so it's an even, make sure it's an even black all the way throughout. I think three is a little bit overkill, so. Okay, with two even coats, it's an even black all the way across. I really like how it looks. As far as the very next thing, it's convenient just to do the next step, which is gonna be taking off these headlights and adjusting the height beams, which they're currently at. If we go to turn on the car right now, Actually, hold it. I'm going to turn off my garage lights because they are currently on. So Now, as you can tell from the very front, my lights are very low. And one side is actually, if you can tell, the height of this one versus the height of that one. This one's higher up than that one. So what I'm going to do is have to take these off and then constantly readjust them until I can get them at the preferred height I want them. Preferably not on the bottom of the road, like probably about up to here or so. I mean, just looking at where it is sitting on the wall, you can tell how low my things were. They were like touching the bottom of a car. So this is actually gonna be the perfect height for driving. What I'm gonna do is before I firm lock in the headlight I just messed with, I'm gonna go to the other side and make sure that these two are at the same height, just sitting, resting, so. Okay, so this should be good enough. You can tell in the middle where they cross right there, there are two different trajectories. This one's going down a little bit on that side, a little bit down on this side, in the middle they meet perfectly right at the x you see the two different even lines where they meet up right there straight across 
So they're at the same height. Now all I gotta do is tighten them down. This is gonna prov provide better road coverage. So whenever I'm driving, I can actually properly see around me, so. making some great progress today i already got two things done we have a list of a couple more things that i'd like to get done but it's coming along fairly nicely next thing i want to do is i want to paint the bottom markers down here the parking lights that one and this one on this side and then also the rear ones on that side and this side just to go really with that murdered out look wow i need to do a car wash when i fill up my car today i have a free car wash somewhere so i think i'm gonna redeem it let's go I just realized something. To get these properly off, we're going to have to take off the rear bumper. So maybe I won't do the back ones today and just the front. I really don't want to take off my rear bumper today unless I have to. So, And the front one, we already got this thing off. We're already working on it. So I figured, shit, might as well touch it up right now. Um, it's going to be the same idea of this. See how we painted this the same color as the wrap if it wasn't dirty? It's the same color as the wrap. It's going to be a satin matte finish or it's just gonna be a satin black finish with kind of like a matte tone to it anyways we're gonna do it to this one and the other one also we have a bit of wrapping that needs to get fixed up down in here as you can see it kind of started coming undone so let me get to it Okay, so this is coat number one as you can tell it is very smooth and shiny and the quality of the paint is super even all the way across the surface it's looking pretty good but this is only with coat one we're gonna do three coats and then two coats of clear coat so okay so this is how it turned out you can see the perfect satin finish with it the back spray isn't perfect on the back, but it doesn't really matter because it won't show. I think it looks really good, and I'm so excited to put it on this. You see how it looks? I also touched up the inside wrap portion inside there. As you can tell, it is now smooth and black. There's a seam line, but it's not the end of the world. Um, let's just rest this inside of here and see how it's going to look. Oh, my God. I might need to black out my entire car because holy shit. That's, that that made it clean as hell. Did I just push away the paint? I might need to respray because I just undid something by pressing that in there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reattach this vent right here. All I did is it just simply came loose. I had some 3M tape around the outside, but instead I got some super wide permanent adhesive mounting tape. This is supposed to be meant for smooth and hard surfaces, quick and permanent bond, no dry time. So hopefully, this can hold that in um and then i'm also probably gonna use some on the bottom just make sure this is like fully sound onto the hood I'm tired of this one coming off it's been like the third time and i'm done with it so we're gonna step it up a little bit this time grab some scissors and we're good to go in the meantime i don't know if you guys just saw what i did over there i accidentally pressed on the paint and i didn't realize it was gonna make an indention so instead what i'm doing is i'm redoing them real quick that one is on its first coat of clear this is on zero coats of clear so i need to do one coat and then two coats on that So currently where I'm at right now is I've already done two coats on that one, one coat on this one. I learned my lesson last time when I touched it and I had to redo it because it wasn't fully dry yet. And I don't want to do that mistake again, so I'm just going to let that be. Next thing I have to do is this unwiring got undone from when, if you guys remember when we did the steering wheel, that wiring got undone. So I'm going to redo that wiring today. I have to cut it a little short and then use the same fuse tap that I used last time. I'm just make sure that's stuck this time. This time I'm also going to use some so i can actually put it up out of the way and tuck it away from anywhere where it might catch on someone's feet or anything like that so we don't have to redo this again okay so this is all that you can see visually from here you cannot see at all but tucked up underneath there's a little pool of red wire it leads all the way into the fuse box and this is as much as you can visually see from inside is that little red corner right there but i got it all done the steering wheel works oh never mind it's working oh my god give me a heart attack for a sec okay it's working now, since I did such a good job of tucking up the wire on the other side, I'm also going to do it on this side as well because my red wire is literally just hanging by my foot well. 
So time to move my seat as far back as I can and just get as much of this wire hidden away. Okay, so before I had the red wire running all the way through, you cannot see it except for right back there for a little bit and then up there a tiny little bit. We have to go over to this side. It's completely tucked in as well. All you can see is right down there, just a little red wire. Besides that, it's all tucked in along the floorboard. And if I move my seat up, you can actually see that it's tucked in as well. All you see is that little bit. So it's looking actually really good. I'm super excited with how it came out. Um, next thing that we're gonna do is grab those. They've dried by now, hopefully all the way dried. And we're gonna put them onto this so that we can start reattaching the front bumper. Really happy with how this came out. As you can tell, the the satin black on the satin black, I mean, it just looks killer. I think it was meant to be. Super happy that I went with it. It's gonna look really good from afar too with a fully black silhouette. So happy with what the progress we got done today that blacked out really helps the front end really completes it i'm really liking how it's looking and i'm super excited to actually use these headlights at the proper angle we got a lot done today also helps with the darkness is that black radiator that you can no longer see this car has came together it is looking incredible i'm so excited and we still got Redecla to take off. It's going to really simplify the entire car and really solidify this blacked out theme. I'm going to wrap it satin black, so don't worry. It is going to be the same texture and tone as the rest of the car. I know it's dirty as hell. I'm washing it later today. So, god damn. That is an incredible difference. Just those couple little things that we've changed already set this off. Finally, we actually have our vent again, which I'm so excited about. You guys have no clue the struggles in which I've gone through to make sure that this vent is now on this car. And if you guys haven't already, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And that'll be all. Check out Speedus Therapy. Speedus Therapy is killing it. It's my clothing brand, if you guys don't already know. I'll throw up a little promo right now, and then it's going to roll the outro. See you guys later. Peace.